Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Association Leadership Radio. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Association Leadership Radio, and this is going to be a good one. Today on the show, we have Kyle Knapp, and he is with the Saxonburg Area Business Association. Welcome, Kyle. Thank you, Lee. Great to be here. Well, before we get too far into things, tell us about uh, the Saxonburg Area Business Association. How are you serving folks? Well, uh, we started uh, about 30 years ago, and we are focused on uh, local government, uh, working with local governments to uh, enhance the business environment for our members, uh, as well as bringing uh, consumers into the area through uh, events and uh, promotions uh, for our members. Now, what was kind of what did something spur this 30 years ago that said, hey, you know what, maybe all the business folks should get together here and work together to for the greater good? Uh, there was just a uh, yeah, a couple of folks that uh, had stores um, and just really wanted to work together with uh, the other people in the in the area to uh, you know promote their businesses and to promote our town. Uh, we have a, a a long rich history, so we like to uh, bring people in so they can see all historical sites and uh, visit our uh, locations. Now, was that not being um, kind of those services not being delivered by a chamber of commerce or um, other type of associations that typically form? Yeah, we do have a chamber of commerce um, and uh, actually a tourism uh, 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 group also uh, in our county. Um, However, I mean, there's a lot of uh, history in our area. So we yeah, we felt uh, that we were a small piece of a larger pie. We really wanted to kind of take the bull by the horns and uh, really promote um, our town on our own, in addition to the support provided by the the chamber and the uh, tourism bureau. Now, how do you kind of see the the differences between a business association and a chamber? The uh, chamber is usually a larger geographic area, um, and they work with uh, kind of county governments and uh, maybe even the, the state governments in, in some sense. Uh, whereas I think the business associations operate more on a local level. Uh, we can really uh, get to know our, our members and uh, work with our local government uh, as far as yeah regulations and, and things that they can do to help uh, our businesses uh, prosper. Um, and yeah, we also help to promote uh, uh, building owners to fill any uh, open spots because yeah, it's tourists. I think like to see a bustling town and area and have a lot of things to do rather than see uh, yeah half of the uh, the the shops boarded up because no one's uh, operating out of it. So when you say that, and you it seems like you're very collaborative, that everybody's kind of working together in this way. Um, what drew you to this leadership role? I mean, what's your day job? Uh, my uh, day job is running a company for offering IT support, uh, computer support to small businesses. Um, I started my company about four years ago, and uh, the Saxonburg Area Business Association was the first uh, group that I joined. Uh, I thought that it made the most sense. I uh, that they're a local group. I already knew a lot of the people that uh, were within that, and so uh, I yeah joined. I uh, enjoyed the networking opportunities. And within about a year and a half, I was uh, elected as president of the organization. Um, So I got to make a a good impact on our town. So what's kind of your dream? Like what, what do you want more out of the, like what kind of outcome do you desire from being uh, the leader of this organization? Um, The outcome I desire is to see a, robust economy in our local area with uh, a lot of events that uh, people can participate in that bring in uh, outside uh, consumers because our town is kind of in the middle of a triangle of major highways. So there's really people don't just come through Saxonburg. Yeah, you don't, there's just no through ways through. So we have to really have something, a destination, a, a reason for them to, to come visit. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see all of our local uh, businesses uh, having events, working together uh, in just, you know, promoting uh, our, our area. Now, for the business folks, um, 
uh, that join or should join, what are some of kind of the reasons, the compelling reasons why, if you're a business owner in uh, the Saxonburg area, that this should be a must join uh, group? Uh, yeah, the, one of the main benefits that we provide is uh, promotion uh, advertising. So we have a website. We list all of our members, all of our members' information. Uh, we have a Facebook group where we uh, promote our members. We'll do spotlights periodically where we you know, talk about a, uh, a business in, in our area, some, a little bit of their history, what they're currently doing, what they're offering. Uh, and then we uh, actually do some paid ads or boosts uh, on social media to, yeah, to get the word out. Um, um, the, uh, the networking opportunities are, are, are great, uh, with the, our, our businesses really work together a lot and try to patronize each other's businesses rather than, uh, yeah, going outside if, if possible. Um, a, a lot of my clients have, have come from joining the group and, uh, just being able to talk about what I do and, uh, and offering that service to, uh, the local businesses. Now, when you're in the kind of the a town environment that you're in, a lot of folks are like, well, why should I join the business association? Everybody knows who I am. It's a small town. Everybody knows everybody. So is there is it worth the dues or the, you know, the time commitment to to actually be part of an association? I think that for most um, people that that's some consideration. For people who are members of associations and like you have leaned into this leadership role, it, it becomes a, a, this is just kind of being a good corporate citizen. This is something you should be doing and you should be supporting everybody here because we're all in this together. <laughs> and, if, and if we start failing individually, then the, as a collective, we're all going to fail. So um, how do you kind of help make that case for your other business people that haven't yet joined it? Right. So, um, I mean, we, we really try to keep our, our dues low, uh, just if, for that reason. I mean, just to make it a, an easy, easy entry, um, for our, uh, new members and, and current members to, to remain. Uh, but one of the, the biggest things we do is, yeah, we, we leverage the, the group, uh, power to, expand our influence uh, further than, than we could as individuals. So we do some advertising uh, yeah, through billboards, magazines, uh, things that a, an individual business on their own probably couldn't afford. Uh, so this allows us to uh, not just market to our local people who, yeah, like you say, a lot of, a lot of the, the people in the local town know every, knows everyone, but uh, this expands our sphere of influence uh, by banding together and using the, uh, the power of, uh, of the group. Now, are you finding that um, you're getting a lot of folks that are first time business people, like maybe they had a corporate job or a more uh, work for a larger enterprise, and then they're kind of going out on their own nowadays? Uh, yeah, we do have some of that. Um, we have some some folks that have opened up stores. Uh, yeah, maybe they retired from their, uh, their 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 day job, and this is yeah just something to to do in their golden years. Um, but we also do have uh, yeah people who ha- uh, are currently even working in a uh, another uh, job, but they're moonlighting and kind of testing the waters to see if their business idea uh, can can take root and can become a uh, full time. Uh, venture for them. So is that something where the association can help them kind of learn the ropes of getting started in business? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of small business owners who have started uh, on the business on their own. We can definitely provide uh, yeah, feedback and advice and uh, uh, particularly uh, w- with resources, uh, uh, other resources that uh, businesses can use that they may not have known ex- even existed um, before joining and uh, getting the, the firsthand knowledge. There's just, there's so much information available on the, uh, on the internet. It, it, it's hard to filter through what's really worth it or not. Uh, so I think having the advice of someone who's been through that and who's tried out different uh, resources on what worked best for them is, is really invaluable to uh, a new business owner. Now, any advice for the, the people in a similar situation that you're in kind of a smallish town? Uh, it's super important. The work that you're doing um, 
but it's just, you got to kind of struggle to get the word out every day. You know, you got to, you know, be present. You have to create events. There's a lot of energy you have to invest into this group um, that maybe isn't appreciated by everybody, but it's kind of like that unsung hero in the community that's doing important work that maybe it isn't at the forefront of other people's minds. Uh, yeah, there there can be some of that, but uh, I mean, really keeping an eye on the on the bigger picture, what the 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 reason or the purpose that you're in that uh, organization, um, and I also find that partnering with or at least making connections with other uh, uh, business associations and even the, even the chambers to ch- to to work together in they when you find other people who are doing similar work and they have the enthusiasm, it, uh, it compounds everyone's enthusiasm kind of builds. And uh, even if your organization does not have a lot of active members, just being involved with other people uh, can share their, uh, their, their passion for what they do. And there will come a time, there will be people uh, that uh, ebbs and flows of people within the, the group that are, organizing events, but uh, keeping a steady hand on it uh, will get you through the dips until you get uh, uh, some periods of uh, high activity. So what's been the most rewarding part of the job for you thus far? Has there been a moment where you're like, wow, this is really paying off? I can really see the impact I'm making? Um, I think... After COVID, um, I mean, COVID, during COVID, we all of our events, which were all in person, where uh, we, we did not have any that first year. Uh, the the second year was very very light, uh, but this the this past year, uh, going into this year, we have re- basically revived and added new events. We uh, so we're we're going stronger now than we were before COVID. So I think that that just shows the resiliency of everyone. Um, and we also going into COVID had uh, several storefronts that were empty. Some businesses had closed or moved and we were able to get to a hundred percent occupancy uh, after COVID. And I think that's just a, a, a great sign of the, of how our, our local uh, community is thriving. Well, congratulations on that. That is a big achievement. And um, you can see that the impact is real. I mean, it it takes that whole team in order to keep that going. That wouldn't have happened by itself. Absolutely. Yeah, it's... uh... Uh, Nothing happens, very or very little happens by accident. I mean, you you do have to... uh to put in some effort, but it is very rewarding to see uh, the outcome uh, when, when it happens. Yeah. And you can see that people are really hungry for that sense of community and the working together and getting back, you know, to that some sense of normalcy of everybody's in person, you know, looking each other in the eye, shaking their hands. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you need more of? How can we help you um, at Saxonburg and also in your uh, day job business of Viterium? Well, um, I mean, any any opportunity to promote uh, our town and say, you know, hey, we, we've got a great little community here. We have uh, a lot of shops, a lot of uh, great restaurants to visit. Um, so if, 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 you, if you're in the area, we're in uh, the greater Pittsburgh area, just northeast of Pittsburgh. So if you happen to be in Pittsburgh and you have a day to, that you want to uh, take a look at some some great american history uh, we have that to offer and uh for my my day job i work in cybersecurity for uh for all businesses um, and it really doesn't matter where they are a lot of my work is remote so yeah you know, if anyone is having a, yeah difficulty finding a provider or uh, just wants uh some feedback some uh maybe a second opinion on uh, what they can do to secure their local networks i'm happy to uh, have a conversation all right. Well, if somebody wants to learn more about Saxonburg uh, Business Association, what's the website? The website is www.saxonburgbusiness.org. Good stuff. Well, Kyle, thank you so much for sharing your story. You're doing important work, and we appreciate you. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate it, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll see you all next time on Association Leadership Radio. Association Leadership Radio.